Hey, I'm Chronicle Ruda, and today we're gonna take a look at the Ultraman Trigger DX Guts Falcon. Start things off by taking a look at the packaging. We got the picture of Guts Falcon in the jet mode and in the little battle mode. You got Trigger just looking at you. you got the Guts Select logo. Things I cannot read up here. You got some more logos, most notably the Tube Rider logo, the Bandai logo, and the Ultraman Trigger New Generation Tiga logo. Some more things I can't read on the top. You just got the side shot of Guts Falcon on the side. It shows you how it can convert to the two modes. On the other side, not really much here other than some kind of QR code. I have no idea what that scans or leads to, but I'm gonna have to check that out later. You got Super Imagination on the back. You got instructions on how to transform this thing as well as a little promo with other kaiju vinyls that are available. Now these kaiju vinyls are very nostalgic because growing up I collected the Ultra Monster series figures but the ones that they make now are significantly watered down from the ones I used to collect and I will actually showcase some of the monsters that I have in my collection alongside with this guy. And uh, let's see, anything else down here? No, it's just a bunch of warnings and labels. In that here, and you get Sad Pac-Man, which is essential to a lot of these Bandai toys. And that's basically it for the packaging, so let's open this thing up and let's see how awesome it truly is. Upon opening the box, I found the plane in this clamshell plastic, much like an SH Figure Arts or Monster Arts, and I just thought it was really, really cool because I was expecting it to be in some cardboard or egg carton or something, much like a lot of DX Sentai toys. But seeing this makes it really feel like it's a premium product, even though it was pretty cheap. It only cost me about, I don't know, $35 maybe, is the rough estimate right for how much these things cost. But anyway, opening this up, I'm going to just take it out like so. And here we have the Guts Falcon, and this thing is... Weather Service has issued a warning for a meteorological event. Tractatory, the newly discovered planet in our solar system has moved closer to Earth. It is currently in between Earth and Mars. The planet is expected to be visible in the sky tonight. There have been numerous reports of mysterious objects from the sky crash landing into the woods. The following are a set of instructions to ensure your safety. From 5 p.m. to sunrise, close all windows, lock all doors, and stay in an area where there are no windows. If the room has a window with blinds, close them so the window is covered. And most importantly, do not let anyone inside your home. Really cool. Reminds me a lot of the Guts Wingers from Ultraman Tiga. I think this is what it's trying to be an homage to since Trigger is a retelling of Tiga after all. But well, taking a closer look, you got this beautiful metallic blue right here, and got some mostly yellow plastic with some red paint, some black splotches, not splotches, you got some black colors here with some paint there. You got this metallic gray here with some ventilations. Got the Gut Select logo. Come to think about it, the colors kind of make me think of the German flag a little bit with the black, red, and yellow. On the other side, you also got the Gut Select logo there. You also got lots of detail, which looks like it could be panel line, which I'm not going to do because Ultraman toys that are DX tend to be very expensive and rare on the aftermarket, so I'm not going to do that. Also, I noticed that there are these things here. And apparently the Nurse Desai, the Nurse Desai, I hope that's how you say it, it actually clips underneath the toy, and I actually have it coming soon, and I'm going to review it in 2022, sometime around that time. And on the back, or I should say on the bottom, got some more mechanical detailing, and there's also landing gear here, and it does have wheels, so it can roll around like so. It rolls, sorry for rolling. Also got these guns here, which are 
gonna be essential for the transformation. On the back, you got some more of that metallic gray. It looks very nice. And you got another thing here for clipping onto something. When I get Nurse Desai, I'm going to, or Nurse Desi, I think it's called. Yes, Nurse Desi. When I get that figure, I'm gonna showcase how this attaches to that. I forgot to mention it, but there are also these little guns here and here. And unlike other planes seen in the Ultra series, this thing is actually piloted remotely in the Nurse Desi. And the main pilot for this jet is Himari Nanase, and she is so funny when she's on this operating this thing. Because normally she's all calm and chill, but the moment she gets on that chair and puts on that headset, she gets all trigger happy and she's always like... <laughs> and now for some size comparisons with some of the vinyl kaiju I grew up with. Here is the Ultra Monster Series Dinosaur. The Ultra Monster Series... I forget the name of this kaiju, but I think it was Velcron or something. Or Volcron. No, no, Volcron. I think Volcron is a Pokemon, so I think that's Velcron. And for you Godzilla fans, here's the movie Monster Series Heisei King Ghidorah. Oh, don't fall. Come on. Come on. I'll send you back here like that. And there you go. Now, there is one very minor problem where you can kind of see the gaps that kind of supposed to tab in these parts with these parts. They don't really tab in perfectly, but it's just a toy, so who cares really? It's not really that big of a deal. This isn't really an adult collector's item, but they could I don't know how they could have fixed it. Maybe you could have it tab in more smoothly, but I still think they did a really good job with this toy. If you have a Bandit Tamashi Nation 5 stand, you can actually kinda use this to hold this thing in the air as a flight stand. And it kinda works. I'm gonna flip the landing gear back. It actually doesn't look that bad, honestly. I think that looks pretty solid. Let's see if I can get this lower. Nope, fail. After some effort, I managed to get resting on top of the stand like so. It doesn't peg in or anything, but I think that also works. And now let's get this thing transformed. And here we have its hyper mode, and I think this is really, really cool. It kind of gives me Macross vibes, but it also looks like the Hornets from Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, if anyone remember that show, please give a like. And I don't know, I just think it's really cool. However, I just wish it had more stuff going on at the bottom here, like maybe some more colors or something. But I still think this is really, really neat. And the thing just flies around and just fires monsters with his new miniguns. And of course on the back you got those wings for I guess it's for gliding around or something. Very impractical in real life but I just think this is so cool and for posability basically you can move this up and down and convert back to its plane mode and or flight mode I should say and you can just move these robot arms and they can also bend like that and you can kind of customize and do whatever you want with it. If you can do something like that maybe or maybe you can do this. You can also do that. And the way that this turns kind of makes me think of the Dino Fury T-Rex Champions Order, aka Tier Amigo. With the way that, that transforms is very reminiscent to that. And I don't know, it's just a really fun, basic little toy. And I just think it's really great. Once again, for some size comparisons, here it is next to those three kaiju I showed earlier. And this isn't perfectly in scale with them. I think it would be about this big, maybe, or actually, I'm not 100% sure exactly how big this thing is. But I don't think it's perfectly in scale. But I still think kids can have a lot of fun doing battles with this thing against other kaiju. I think it looks pretty cool. And they look pretty good together. Overall, this figure is amazing. 
definitely pick this thing up if you're a huge fan of Ultraman Trigger or if you're into DX toys in general. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.